The grease was used, by the way. I may not actually have enough grease production. So this takes canola oil and extract, and then creates grease out of it. Okay, so that's where my canola oil is going. Although I still seem to have quite a bit of it, yeah. What about extract? How much of that do I have? 139? Okay. Quite a bit of that too. What's going on, Motlesis? I think I can stop farming. Yeah, we don't really need this much farming. Did you just call us nerds, Motlesis? Whoa, whoa, dude. That is not cool. find that very disrespectful. Daylight savings time sucks. Are you jet lagged because of daylight savings? Is that what you're saying right now? Yeah, I don't think I need a lot of berries anymore. I'm gonna get rid of some of the berries. I could replace them with canola oil, but I was thinking actually about replacing them with coffee instead. I feel like coffee is way nicer. You're jet lagged? Oh my god. It's 7 a.m., but it's actually feeling like it's 6 a.m.? What a horrible time. Um, I think these actually require a forester, don't they? Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna replace one of you guys with a forester. Uh, let me see. That is under the wood section. There we go. Yeah, changing time zones is silly, though. I think everybody can agree with that. There we go. Yeah, the Forester is the one that gets the coffee going. Cool. Gonna replace one of these storage things. Uh, that's a house. One of these, with coffee. I thought I already set something like that up, to be honest. Oh, wait. Coffee is stored in these large things, apparently. Uh, where in the world am I gonna store that, then? I'm starting to run out of space. We'll remove one of them. Coffee? No, it's not. What? Hold up. Where are the coffee beans stored? What do we do with the coffee beans? Oh, I already have the coffee beans stored. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I, I was gonna say. I thought I set that up a long time ago. Before I needed any... Before I was even planting any coffee beans, but... Alright. I do still have the gatherer over here. That guy's not been doing anything. For quite a while. And then we have the coffee brewery. So one coffee bean, one water, and 0.1 wood. In an hour... Creates... Coffee. All right, I like the sound of that. Where do we place it? Where do we plant it? Okay. I'm assuming the coffee is gonna get stored as well in a big... ...medium, or maybe... Ah, no, we wanna go for super large tank, if possible. Naturally, right? We want loads of coffee for our guys. Can I put a coffee tank over here on the water? Every time you, you get over here, you can choose. Do you want to have water or do you want to have coffee? 
I think setting this up right now as we're kind of getting rid of our beavers is a bit of a unfortunate situation, but anyways, this is where coffee is going to be stored. No, robot beavers don't seem to break down. They just require electricity. Alrighty, this is where I'm going to be wrapping up this game today. So, I've been trying to essentially automate everything in this particular playthrough of Timberborn. I'm thinking about just getting rid of every single one of my beavers and just automating all of the things. The goal of ultimate beaver happiness is to have no beavers. Yeah. Why worry about beaver happiness when you have no beavers? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since I'm already at 39 bots at the moment. No, I'm at 39 bots and 47 beavers. Okay, I actually for some reason thought I already had more beavers or beaver bots than I had actual beavers. Anyways, I'm gonna stop producing new beavers. Yeah, we'll let the old generation die out And we will rip. Wait, I do have 69. Ah, yeah, yeah, I have 69 bots right now. Nice. Um, a lot of them I think are in the second district. Yeah. So we're actually currently taking the last little bit of scrap from that particular pile. And that's one, yeah, bringing brought on over. Um, I currently have. Two of these bolt assemblers. So there's one over here on top of this tower and then one over here on top of this one. They are basically just gathering stuff. Yeah, they're just making new robots, which is awesome. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch is sometimes making it so that you can't watch the stream in 1080p. It's super annoying. It's really stupid. I don't know what they're thinking. But... It, it seems a bit short-sighted, you know? Like, it feels to me like they're actively trying to make the service worse. Which never really works out well for a company. But then again, I think they're really desperate to try and turn a profit at some point. It seems like they are pushed pretty hard to try and turn a profit at some point. And, uh... Right now... They are not. So, I guess, uh... Maybe they, uh, they got some sort of ultimatums or something. I don't know, dude. Really pinching pennies here. It's 720p again. It's funny too, because I am dual streaming to YouTube. And the YouTube streams already always looked a little bit cleaner in the first place. Plus, you know, YouTube has this thing where you can actually do a live rewind if you want to. So you can actually just go back and pause and stuff. Twitch really is starting to fall behind in some very basic streaming mechanics. Which is a bit of a shame, but... But yeah, obviously the YouTube streaming operates at a loss, yeah. Such a small thing. On, uh, I guess YouTube's, uh, platform, but... It is kind of wild, isn't it? Usually it takes about 10 minutes to have the 1080p option available. So I just loaded up my own YouTube, or sorry, my own Twitch stream. And it was there. It was there in 1080p. What's going on, Vesper? Thank you very much. Um, so I stream on my second channel. I stream on the More Loco YouTube channel. Like, in the past, you couldn't do that, but they've changed the rules about it a little bit, so nowadays you can. What's funny is that, like, Twitch has a bunch of limitations if you want to do a multi-stream. And one of the rules is that your Twitch stream cannot look worse than your YouTube stream. Now, what's really funny to me is that now Twitch is actively making their own platform look worse by, for example, limiting the quality settings. Which is kind of ironic, really. Like, I can't make my... 
Yeah, like I'm streaming the exact same quality on YouTube and on Twitch. And for some reason the Twitch streams don't look quite as good. Like what do you want me to do, man? I didn't do this. Like I would love to, for example, stream at a stronger or like a higher bitrate, right? Which would make the, the streams look better and ultimately the VODs and stuff would also look cleaner. But I can't because that's still limited by Twitch. It's still limited at 8,000, I think is what it is. 8,000 bitrate, which is not really even enough for a proper 1080p 60 stream. Ultimately, you really want to have like closer to like 12k, maybe 16k for a 1080p 60. Yeah, the quality and uh, just the, the general stuff that Twitch deals with is just... Yeah, it's just frustrating. Good morning, everyone. What's going on, Praetor? Aiden. Thank you for the 86 months. Dude, appreciate you. <laughs> Talking crap on Twitch? No, it's just a shame, man. But they have made some good changes as well, though, over the last year or so. I complained a lot about Twitch's decisions a few years back. I don't think a lot of them were valid. I still don't think all of their decisions are great, but... At least uh, they've been making less dumb decisions as of late, you know? Which is already an improvement. No, it's just the UK, Bunny. It's uh, UK, Canada, and um, Australia, where the subs are slightly more expensive. But not Tier 2 and Tier 3 somehow. Well, the dumbest decision over the last few years that I've seen Twitch make, that they reversed pretty quickly, is the cap that the biggest streamers on this platform could make before they got less revenue cut. Like, that was still one of the weirdest changes. Like, it wasn't relevant for me. I never got to that limit in the first place. But that entire... That entire thought process was so silly. Like, I don't know what they what they thought was ever going to happen there. Yeah. I actually didn't mind the the no I actually didn't mind the adult changes or the mature content changes that they did some time ago they did have to go back on those because obviously twitch streamers immediately uh dude remember that one that one day it sounds like a story from myth and legend but one day in the not too far past the entire art section on twitch was just it was it was interesting yeah, Twitch streamers immediately pushed through the limits, though. Immediately. Yeah, that was in December. For one day, the art section was allowed to create full and complete art. Which, you know what, I still kind of agree with. I still think you should be able to do that. Because art is art. But, for obvious reasons, the internet immediately pushed it very far. <sighs> they had to see that coming, yeah. My favorite Twitch title that I saw that day, which I still think is really brilliant, was plus one sub, that was in the title of the stream, plus one sub equals plus one inch. Like, that basically described that entire day. Yeah, Twitch streamers very quickly got to the limit. I think it was pretty clever, but yeah. You know, I think Twitch had imagined this, like, for example, like, the Romans and the Greek and stuff, sculpting these perfect muscular bodies, and yeah, they happened to be nude, what, whatever, right? Like, that was kind of part of the story. Um... Wait! Bots can die! There was a dead notification just now of a robot dying. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't know that was possible. Ah. 
It was pretty funny though, not gonna lie. I'm trying to think what I should actually make right now in the game, guys. So I was trying to go up to 12,000 sciency, sciency points. So I can make my ultimate monument. The tribute to ingenuity. I've already run the power line here. Um, how much electricity do I currently have? Oh wow, I supply way more than I currently use. It's not even close. Good job, local from the past. I think I'm gonna store some more lumber over here. I think that'll be enough though, I don't really need that much lumber here. It's just nice to not have them running around for it. I wish that was like a 3x3 three three roof. I guess we can do a 2x3 roof and then put some decorations here on the outside. There we go. That works. Yo, have a good one, Richard. Take care. I do recommend this game, 100%. Yeah, I think this game is very fun. If you've played it a bunch, you kind of run out of things to do at some point. It doesn't have, like, endless replayability in my mind, at least. But there's a lot of, like, you can get hundreds of hours of content. And this game is, like, 20 bucks. Plus, it's made by a small indie studio who does this magical thing where they try to finish the game before they release it. It's really crazy, dude. Not commonly seen anymore in the current video gaming meta. Nah, this game is very fun. It's definitely better than City Skylines 2, in my opinion, yes. Oh, I did not see that skull. That's that's crazy. Yeah, they're planning on, like this game has been an early access for such a long time because they're trying to release a finished video game. It's just mental, dude. Crazy stuff, honestly. Never seen before. Revolutionary thinking. I would like to add on another one of these bolt assemblers. We need to make the transition towards robots quicker. The only problem is that I just don't have a lot of space. Maybe I can make some over here, though. I think I'm gonna add on another two of these bolt assemblers. Yeah, my, uh... I have some, some wasted space right over here. Which, by the way, was also my nickname in college. Oh, no. I don't want to talk about that part, actually. Um... I think I'm gonna plant it over here. Yeah, I'm gonna delete this, this workshop. I will make like an area over here. I had a lot of nicknames in college, dude. <laughs> Some of them were even true. Hey, thank you very much, Sammy. Or actually, Praetor Phoenix. Big Girth? They called you Big Girth? I'm gonna post. No, I don't believe that. No, I don't. I don't believe that. Sorry, man. Yeah, one of my nicknames was, was high, high Power Shaft. That certainly is factual. I like that I deleted this one for no reason. Okay. Oh, uh, you can build pretty far up. I'm not sure exactly what the limit is, but... Um, we have to pay attention, by the way, to the amount of metal blocks that I have, because currently I will not be harvesting any additional ones, but I think it's fine. I should have plenty of scrap metal and plenty of metal for now. I'm thinking about building a pyramid. I don't know why. Somebody talked about building a pyramid in this game, and I kind of like the idea. How big can I make my pyramid, Chet? They gotta bury me somewhere. When I'm ultimately done, you know? They, they gotta bury me somewhere, right? How can I be a real pharaoh of the of the beavers if they if, if they don't bury me in a pyramid? Yeah, this game needs a big... Well, the geometrical shape is not triangle, I guess. I guess the shape is called pyramid. That's what it needs, clearly. 
Oh, I actually want to change this one up to one of those. Painting is hard. It really is, Echo. You know the crazy thing about miniature painting is that these guys on YouTube, right? Always these freaking YouTube guys. They make it look pretty easy. You're like looking at it and you're like, oh yeah, just dip your brush into paint and then just put it over there. And then you give it a try. And it turns out those guys are pretty good. Crazy. So you're telling me people that have done this sort of thing for a very long time are more skilled at it than people that have not. I find that very toxic. That's very unfair. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like Bob Ross. Exactly. Bob Ross. You're like, oh yeah, let's just put a little mountain over there. And then he finally finishes this beautiful painting. He's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a gigantic tree right in front of all this detail that I've been putting down. And I'm watching that. I'm like, Bob, what are you doing? Bob, you just finished that part. Don't ruin it, Bob. And then somehow he fixes it. Yeah, Bob, absolute legend, man. Um, I want to make bot assemblers. Yeah. Yeah. Your StarCraft 2 avatar is Bob Toss. That's a good one. I do like that one, yeah. Like, for example, I started painting the cape of this mini yesterday. And it doesn't look nearly as good as the video tutorial that I was following along with. Hold up, let me go grab it while we wait for the beavers to build it. So... I actually originally wanted to leave this mini for a while, because I'm a noob, and I feel like I need practice, but then I didn't want to anymore, so I decided to just fucking put it together, spray paint it, and get it done. So I've been working on the armor. The armor's pretty good, right? You got some detail in there and stuff. Overall, not bad. And I started working on the cape, and at first glance, the cape is not that bad either. But notice that, like, you notice this thing right over here, where it's a hard transition? Turns out I was too slow and I let the paint dry too much, and now I'm gonna have to do basically the whole cape all over again. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's going, yeah. The gradients are not that easy. Still have a lot of shading and stuff to do on this one, but... It's been, uh... It's been fun. I've been watching so many tutorials and like, I don't, I do this thing where when I start a hobby or I try something new, I, I do this very obsessive, I don't know, I, I, <laughs> I just find myself completely going into it right away. That's an ADHD th trait? Maybe, man. I mean, it's a spectrum, right? So, like, you know, I may not have all of the characteristic traits of ADHD, but, like, I do definitely do that. I'm like, okay, so I need all of this. We're all on a spectrum somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, I play, I play old school RuneScape, unironically. I'm definitely further on the spectrum than some other people, okay? Oh yeah, no, I still do, Manadar. I still have an obsession with streaming and video editing and content creation in general. Like, whenever I hear people that get bored of it, I'm like, what? There's... <laughs> There's so much! But yeah. You just gotta figure out at which point I guess the obsession becomes a problem. But yeah, I'm happy with how this is going, though. I've been following the video tutorials of a guy called War Hipster. 
on YouTube. He seems like a cool dude. Yeah. I think I mentioned this already, but he um, he was streaming at some point on YouTube. He streams like a couple times a week on YouTube. And I said hello in the chat on the Loco TV account, and he apparently recognized who I was. Which is kind of funny, because I had that fanboy moment that I kind of feel like sometimes people... Like, I, I, it was weird. It's a small world, man. Also, I never really quite got the parallel of... StarCraft 1 and Warhammer 40k. So somebody posted in the Discord channel... What the minis in the early days of Warhammer 40k looked like. Yeah, so this is a... Tyranid Screamer Killer. From I think the 90s? Bro, doesn't that just look like a, a skinny Ultralisk? Isn't that just a skinny Ultralisk? Or am I like a StarCraft 1 Ultra? Yeah, it's like a Hydra with the StarCraft... Yeah, it looks a little funky, but... The front half of the Ultralisk, yeah. There's actually so many parallels. It's an urban myth that StarCraft was original. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it originally was supposed to be a Warhammer game. Because it really does kind of look like a Warhammer game. Did I finish the climbing game? Absolutely, man. Finished it. First tried everything. No, I did not finish the, the climbing game yet. Can it still defeat a fully upgraded Archon? No. Why can you not, uh... No available workers in district? What? Oh, my beavers are dropping like flies. And my bots apparently are dying out too. Okay, never mind. The breeding pods are back online. Um, I'm gonna have to do a charging setup somewhere, man, because this is not working. I am... Hmm. I'm running out of space. So I put up one of these 5G towers. Can I just do... Hold up, can I just do a charging setup right over here? I think I can. Yeah, I think I'll do like three of them over here. Uh, it's under science. Charging station. There we go. It's a bit of a maze. It is a bit of a maze, but I actually kind of like how it is a bit of a maze, though. Because it kind of looks cool. When I try to create too clean of a city, I'm never too happy with how it turns out. This actually kind of looks like a city now, you know what I mean? Where we try to find space wherever possible, and we just chuck structures wherever we can fit them. Yeah, we're using orga organic growth. Yeah. Is, seven, is, is 1080p still not available for everybody in the chat? Ay, ay, ay. No, I, I get 1080p when I load up my, my stream. I don't know, guys. What if Twitch does that on purpose, though, where streamers are the ones? We gotta- we gotta feed the conspiracy, you know? When I open up my own stream... You know one thing that actually apparently is a thing that I didn't realize for a very long time? When you're streaming on Twitch... You never see ads on Twitch. So, like, when I am live on Twitch, there are no ads that I will see while I'm live on Twitch. Yeah! So when you're a partner on Twitch, and you're looking around on the website, you never see any ads. Is this a streamer privilege? Yeah. It's weird. So what I recommend you do is you just become a Twitch partner, and then you just pretend you're streaming, but you're actually just browsing other channels. No, actually, no, actually that's not a... no, hold up. No, that's not actually a very good plan. Never mind, never mind. 
just become a partner. Yeah. To prevent annoying moments when you want to show a diff- Yeah. So I think originally they did that when um, hosting and raiding was introduced. So I think it was actually when raiding was introduced. Because when you're looking for a stream to raid, usually streamers only give that about a five second window. Or you're like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm not going to do it. So... Yeah, they, uh, I think they just removed that. Which actually kind of makes sense, I guess, but... It does feel like a life hack. Um... Okay. Luckily for us, we're no longer breeding... ...little beavers. We're going straight to adult beavers now. Which is with these advanced breeding pods. I think I'm gonna build a pyramid, guys. We gotta look for the perfect spot of my pyramid. Is it going to be on top of right over here? Or is it going to be right up here? We have multiple locations. I feel like over here is easier. I think the second option is easier because it just doesn't require quite as much stuff. Should I level this first though? I think I should. Can we build a nuke? We should build the Valley of Kings. The Valley of Kings doesn't have any pyramids though. Anyways. Our Valley of Kings will have pyramids. So how would we build the pyramids, guys? <laughs> Do we build scaffolding around the pyramid? Hmm. We're gonna need some aliens. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Because if we build a ramp for it, the ramp has to be like a mile long. So I think I'm gonna build them using levees. Because I have lots of wood. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can do like, uh, yeah, yeah. I think this is the way to do it. Get a labor force with nothing to do during the flood season? Right, right, right. I think I'm gonna put my, 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 my pyramid on stilts. Like on a, on a bunch of platforms. That seems like a great way of running it. What could possibly go wrong? Why did we want to make a pyramid again? Somebody brought this up the other day, and I thought it was a cool plan. Oh shit, this is actually... Ah, I didn't realize they could get up this platform. Cool. We gotta have a square base for it, though. <laughs> We're gonna need aliens. <laughs> right away. <laughs> You know, there's still a lot of people that believe that pyramids were built by aliens. I recently went... This Maybe this is my problem, but I recently went on the conspiracy theory side of TikTok. My god, do people come up with some wild ideas. You just broke off the arm of a zerker? Oh no! Dang. That sucks. So the only problem is that we're gonna have to build all the way up. So I'm gonna have to create like a staircase... ...looking thing. Do, 
There we go. There's even more surprising that some people believe that pyramids weren't built by aliens. That's true, dude. I think what a lot of people don't realize, though, is that they built a lot of pyramids. It isn't just the really big ones that people know of. There's like three really famous ones, but they built dozens. They did a lot. Even the clips are in 720p? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the... Oh, you can't build this on top of... Ah, shit. Okay, I thought you could build levees on top of um, these stilts, but you can't. Is there a solid type of block? A terrain block? Other buildings? No, this one is also must be built on the ground. What about storage? What about warehouses? Oh, I can build it out of warehouses. That seems like a dumb idea. But I can! I could fill it up with dirt over here. That seems like a ton of work though. Is there a resource that I can use? It's gonna have the select item icon over it? Yeah, it will. Ah, maybe it's not that easy. If I build it out of dirt, it's going to take a lot. I don't even know how you do that. So there's these dirt blocks that require sand. How much sand do I currently have? 249. Ah, we could do that. Okay, so that means I'm actually gonna cancel a bunch of it. Yeah, Twitch is uh, pinching pennies, guys. I'm sorry. I uh, I don't know why. I, I don't know what's changed. At least that's what I think is going on. For some reason, they just make it really tricky for people to watch streams at full quality these days. It really sucks. Making the, uh, the viewing uh, for the end user worse is generally not a very strong strategy, if I'm being honest with you, but... It seems like they're actively making the service worse sometimes. I don't know why. So wait, I can do these blocks. I could make the base out of dirt. That's true. If it takes too long, we could just build the base out of dirt. So is this always gonna have an arrow on it? It is. Why does it have an arrow? I mean, if I wanna make it proper though, it should kinda look like this, right? It's an arrows for the click-through rate? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrows are good. Hold up right now. I didn't mean to insinuate here that... It's only your channel for me, Loco? How is that possible? I didn't change anything.
Um, so we need to definitely make sure that sand is being stored up here. I have some sand currently in storage here in a large industrial pile. I'll have to do the same thing over here. Yeah, so sand needs to be stored up here. So I can build some more sand up there. Yep. So we'll do a... Industrial pile. And this one is gonna have sand in it. Now I obviously need to make sure that the sand is being brought in. The only problem is that setting this all up properly is kind of tricky. Can one of you please remove this freaking tree? Is no one's gonna do that? <laughs> Why not? Okay, no, 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 somebody's doing it. It's just slow going. Okay, um, so I gotta make sure that the district is gonna be moving sand from District 1 to District 2. The system is still very confusing to me, even though they tried making it better. Import blocked by lack of storage. So maybe it's just gonna work without me having to do anything though. <laughs> nice Echo. Is this is a new copy paste huh? Maybe I need to reload that screen. District 2? Yes. Import blocked by lack of storage and workplace demand in this district. I don't understand what the problem is. Import if needed. No, you don't have to import it. Just export it. Import enabled by storage and workplace demand. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's coming in, it's coming in. Cool. Is this square? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that the correct number or does it have to be bigger than that? Um, do I get a single square middle with nine? It's the fifth of the fifth, right? So, so this should be the middle point right over here. Yeah, it needs to be uneven, exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. Uh, I do need to place down a bunch of blocks over here too then. And if you want to make it perfectly square, we're gonna have to put up some dynamite right over here. I think I will make it perfectly square for once. Even though I've been trying to avoid that in most areas, I think over here would be fine. I have no idea how long this is going to take though. Um, I'm gonna need more workers. Whoa, whoa, is this a mod battle in the chat right now? I have my money on Peter. Peter's gonna win easy, dude. I'm excited. Did we already talk about TikTok getting banned in the US? Uh, it has to pass Senate first, right? I think Biden said he would, would sign it though. 
Yeah, I don't know. You don't think Biden knows what TikTok is? I'm sure Biden would love TikTok, man. He has a TikTok account himself, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, they've been trying to get TikTok banned for a long time because China. I think that's basically the reasoning. <laughs> American companies having the data is no problem, but you know. Yeah, it's a yearly ban request. It's kind of what Echo Soldier does in Twitch chat too, where he tries to get banned all the time. And this this is not maybe necessarily an annual thing for him, but it does come up regularly. And he just hasn't been granted that wish. Yeah, China bans a lot of stuff because America, absolutely. So, you know. I guess it's all right. TikTok definitely is not the best social media out there, though. It's actually losing a bunch of popularity, too, from what I've gathered. I looked at the uh, the numbers recently for growth rate of social media. And if I remember correctly, as far as new users go, there was more growth in the fourth quarter of 2023 on Facebook than there was on TikTok. The fuck? Um, like, it grew really fast, really quickly, and then, uh, yeah, I think everybody's got a social media account. Yeah. Ooh, look at these guys. Coffee bushes. That's amazing, dude. Look at this guy, enjoying the coffee bush. Chat, have you heard of Tumblr? Tumblr is my favorite social media. I mean, at this point... Ooh, we have coffee. Nice. At this point, the functionality of TikTok is... Uh, basically entirely picked up as well by Instagram and YouTube Shorts. I would like to have a, um, a little bit of dirt gathering over here, too. I just need to put down a dirt extractor. So these things, 200 horsepower. How much electricity am I using up over here? Yeah, I can, I can plant it down. I can do, like, a dirt extractor over here as well. We can let that be run by robots. You worked on Vine? Vine was kind of cool, right? Like, I was never really active on it. But that did some cool stuff. Um, Where is my dirt manufacturing thing? Or dirt gathering thing? Oh, it's here. Dirt excavator. That's it. Maybe I should make two of them and then put down their own dedicated... Because I'm going to need a lot of dirt. I think I'll make the entire pyramid out of dirt, too. I think I'll give them their own dedicated power supply. Yeah, I'm mostly thinking that because I need to run power to it, but I, yeah, we'll see if I need a second one. If I need a second one, I can add it a little bit later. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put up an engine right over here. I can't because we need to apparently use some boomerinos. One boomerino, please. I 
I may actually have to do it uh, one further to the Such right. industrious beavers. Yeah. Yeah, no, my beavers don't mess around, dude. So, Loran is out of town for a few days, guys. I'm gonna have to take care of myself. Oof. Oof. Between now and, like, Sunday, how messed up do you think my sleep schedule is going to be? Party time? What? Absolutely not. Party at Locos? Am I gonna eat sandwiches with cheese again? Always, dude. That's in my Dutch contract, though. That's just part of being Dutch. You have to eat cheese sandwiches. I don't make the rules. Uh, treated planks. Wrong one? Treated planks. All night painting session? Oh my god. No, I'm gonna try and not become a full degen. I even already went grocery shopping. I have healthy food in the fridge, chat. I know. Crazy stuff. Burgers? Burgers are healthy. I will definitely order like once though, yeah. I, I'm allowing myself to order food once. Maybe twice if I'm feeling really lazy or tired. Pizza are healthy too, guys. Healthy carbs, a little bit of protein. I can make some dishwasher salmon. Oh, an American delicacy. <laughs>